Hey you guys, it's me, Sean Strong, your 2019 Mayesh Design Star, and I'm so very excited to be here at Summer Hour, where I'm gonna show you guys a really cool installation. It's gonna be on top of this metal stand right here, and I can't wait to show you what it's gonna look like. So again, clients are having to see, clients. <laughs> clients. Lachaim. <laughs> So we have some really beautiful products, again, courtesy of Mayesh. We have some really beautiful amaranthus right over here. I have some dried hydrangea, we have some anthurium. We have lots of grasses and lots of textures to make sure that this is gonna be really, really impactful. Now what I'm gonna do is create an installation on top of the stand that's gonna kind of cascade and go all over the place. This is something that you can put on top of a table, something you can put on the stand by an entryway. I think it's gonna really make an impact and I can't wait to show you guys what it's gonna look like. So the materials that we're going to be needing today, we need to make sure that we have some oasis. This is gonna be a caged oasis. Now, if you're wanting to do something that's foam free, you can definitely use like a Lomi dish. You're able to secure that and use a little bit of chicken wire. But for this purpose, I'm going to show you guys how to do this on Oasis. We're also gonna make sure that we have our zip ties. Zip ties are a necessity for any floral designer and anyone who's been doing this for any amount of time understands the necessity of zip ties. Another component you guys need, chicken wire. So the only other thing you guys are gonna need are some snips to make sure that you guys are giving your flowers a fresh cut. I love fall so very much, and I think the main reason why I like it is there's so many textures and there's so many different color variations to play with. As you guys can see, kind of the color palette we're working with, a lot of muted kind of colors, but you also have these kind of like bright, upright amaranthus, and you have these beautiful pops of yellow. And I think incorporating all these together could really give that fall vibe without being too literal. Now, I went ahead and soaked my Oasis block. You wanna make sure that this is very, very secure. So what I'm gonna do is take the zip ties and secure them right around here on all four corners, making sure that it's very, very secure. That way this isn't gonna go anywhere. So now that this is secure, you guys are gonna realize that this is not gonna go anywhere, which is exactly what we want. Because if this is placed on the table, the last thing you want is for this to kind of topple over. So what I'm gonna start doing now is adding in my larger pieces and starting building the shape, and from there, tucking in the smaller pieces. So this right here is called Rain Tree, and I love the texture of it. It just really has this really cool airy quality to it, and it creates a lot of texture anytime you're doing a large scale installation. Now this is something that dries beautifully. Typically the colors are a little bit more saturated, but I like it for this season right now because it's gonna be a little bit more muted. I think it's gonna really blend well with the color palette that we're working with. So as you guys know, I like to design with a lot of asymmetry. So by having a higher point and a lower point, it's allowing your eye to kind of follow this beautiful line. That way you're able to have this gorgeous piece for your client or for yourself. Now I think oftentimes when we're doing installations of any sort, we always like to make things kind of fanned out. We like to have things kind of come this direction, but it's so very important to make sure that you guys have depth in your arrangements or your large scale installs. You wanna make sure that things are kind of coming towards you. So by having something coming out this direction, it just changes the shape as opposed to having it right here. It looks a little fan shape if we put it here, but if you put it this direction, it kind of forces that engagement for you and your audience. So now that we have the shape of this arrangement, I want to start accentuating a little bit more. I think it's really, really fun to play around with cool textures and things that have a lot of twisting elements to them. So you can see right here how this is just going to really kind of accentuate the shape of what we're playing around with. I think it's going to really be beneficial in creating that kind of elongated feel in this arrangement. So we have the shape of our arrangement right now. So what I'm gonna start doing is tucking in and making sure that things are gonna be covered. We don't want the mechanics to be seen. So again, working with the larger pieces and then going down to the smaller pieces is gonna really help us kind of build things out and then add those delicate details in. Now this is Limelight Hydrangea. I love working with it when it's dried like this. It creates a really, really beautiful texture and I think it's gonna work really, really well with the palette that we're working with. It's nice to be able to take elements like this and dry it, that way you're able to use it in the fall months when dried elements are a little bit more in season. All right, so now that we have the base shape of what we're gonna be working with, I wanna make sure that we're accentuating it again. I wanna have something kind of cascading down. Now I think this hanging amaranthus is a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like so you can see how it's gonna really accentuate the colors that are in this already, and it's just gonna really add that fall element. By having this kind of down here, it's also gonna cover the mechanics, which is gonna be wonderful, but it also creates a really romantic feel. Now, when you're adding in your hanging amaranthus, make sure it looks intentional. Make sure you have enough there to where it looks purposeful. The last thing you want is for like three or four pieces to be hanging down. 
Now what I'm gonna add in now is the floral component. Now this would be beautiful to add in some dahlias, you can do some garden roses, but right now I think to have a little bit of cork, I'm gonna add some amphirium. I think it's really, really important to make sure that you guys are looking at the color palette as opposed to the flower. If it works within the color palette, add it in. I think it makes a lot of really cool, interesting moments for you and the guests to enjoy. You can tell how these tones are almost identical to that hanging amaranthus. So I think it's gonna really, really add a beautiful shape and beautiful texture to the arrangement. I think it's a nice idea to make sure that you're putting things in kind of at an angle. Not every one of them needs to be facing directly looking at you. It really creates a lot of engagement by having things kind of turned and it allows them kind of grow naturally within your arrangement. Now another fun texture to add in is going to be the stride Queen Anne's Lace. We're going to make sure that we're keeping our flowers within their family. It looks a little bit more intentional when you have things kind of collectively together as opposed to them kind of, you know, periodically throughout the arrangement. Kind of keeping it in one little quadrant, one little group, as if they're all together. Working on different planes, making sure that we have lots and lots of depth being created by our floral. So by adding these in, we're gonna get a lot of texture. That's texture and depth, just so you guys know. You heard it here first. I wanna make sure that I'm creating, again, that engagement, making sure things are beautiful in this arrangement and coming out towards you, as opposed to just creating a, a fan shape. Now I think it's really important when you're working with your color palette to kind of think about light and shadow. If you put darker flowers underneath the lighter ones, those lighter ones are really going to pop. Now if you put the darker flowers on top of the lighter ones, those darker flowers are gonna really pop because you're gonna be able to kind of play with this light and shadow effect. It's all about lighting, it's all about color theory. Make sure you guys are kind of being aware of that whenever you guys are pulling your flowers for your clients. Now I'm gonna tuck this in pretty deep because I wanna make sure that this is really accentuating those lighter colors. You can already tell by this amaranthus right here, it's really bringing in those kind of burgundy kind of colors that are in the veins within that flower. Now even with the darker colors, we're keeping these things in its family. As you can tell, it's all kind of in this little group over here. And again, it looks intentional, looks as if it's growing that direction. It's pulling in the colors from this Nandina, which I think is really, really pretty and really highlighting those lighter pinks that are taking place. All right, now to finish off this arrangement, I'm just gonna tuck in a little of the sheet moss. I love working with sheet moss because it's wonderful at covering mechanics, and it also adds a beautiful texture and color to your arrangement. So we're gonna tuck this in pretty low underneath this, and it's just gonna kind of finish everything off for us. All right, you guys, so this is our large scale install. Now this is something that you guys can add on top of a table. This is something that you can put as a statement piece by an entryway. I think it's a really beautiful, non-traditional October color palette. Again, making sure that we're working with muted tones, kind of these muddy textures, and also working with light and shadow and lots and lots of depth. I think that's gonna really create something that's gonna work well for the October season. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in and watching this video. Thank you again to Mayash for the beautiful product and to Summer Hour Studios for making sure that we're able to be in this space. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys later on.